you. Do you get recruits from around the world to help Christians? Uh, I, I didn't understand your uh, question. Are there any people outside of your community who are coming in from, uh, from other countries to help your people, to fight with you? Uh, we have uh, volunteers uh, from United States, from from French, from Scotland, and they are they are, we we are thankful for them. They came to our our uh, 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 Syrian army, Dufnosha, and they they they've been volunteers. They are with us, uh, but you know the permission uh, uh, of KRG. They don't give them the permission only for two or three days, unless okay. they will be with them. They, they, the man who the man who called the show earlier said that the U.S. drops weapons for you and ammunition, but often makes the mistake of dropping them behind enemy lines. Very often, dropping them uh, for uh, ISIS. Is that true? Uh, for 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 us, uh, no one drop uh, any weapons, uh, Mike. I don't know from that uh, from this gentleman from. Uh, My God. Uh, he bring this information, but for us, oh no God. one drop any weapons, any kind of weapons. We didn't get any kind of help or support from anyone. Emmanuel Koshaba is commander-in-chief of the Assyrian military forces, defending Assyrians in Iraq and Syria. And you can help them by going to assyrianappeal.org, A-S-S-Y-R-I-A-N, appeal.org. So you can help support their families so the men can fight against the subhumans to protect their people in the ancient the Neva plain of Iraq. It's astounding what's going on in front of our eyes. It's biblical history. And I should remind Christians listening to the show that Assyrians are Christians. I mean, you need to explain to the American people, sir, who Assyrians are. They don't even have any idea. They don't really know who you are. Who are Assyrians? Assyrians are the first people who become a, a Christian uh, 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 with Jesus Christ, the first who took the Christianity to the to the uh, 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 all over the world, even the Jesus Christ talk with with the language of Assyrian. Uh, 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 this is this is uh, we uh, this is we are more than two thousand years. We are Christian Assyrian Christian. We uh, say, we established Mesopotamia. Our, our Assyrian people give the civilization, uh, uh, the humanity to, to a civilization, give them the... Why, why, is the United, why is the United Nations not sending UN troops to help surround your community and protect you? Where, where's the UN in all of this? Uh, you are, uh, UN, uh, just, uh, I don't know what, what to say, it's uh, a political game. Uh, I know it. Look, I know that they're not there. Like the Israelis used to say, they're like an umbrella that's that opens when you don't need it. I get it. All I can say is I will try to raise awareness to uh, the, for the American the United Assyrian Appeal dot org. I'll put it up on my website. I'll put it out on Facebook. While you have to go back and face the enemies of civilization itself, uh, Commander, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you, and God bless you, and may He protect you and your people. And thank you so much for being with us on this program today. Thank you, Michael, for you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the Savage Nation, I very, very seldom ask you to give any money to anybody. You know that for a fact. Am I right? And I'm not asking you to funnel it through my defense fund or through me. I'm not looking to make a penny off this. UnitedAssyrianAppeal.org. Send them what you can. Make it a Christmas present for yourself, for your beliefs. This is the saddest show I've ever done in my life. We have people fighting to, to protect their wives and children, and we have a fraud, a fraudulent president who's dashing off on vacation and spends his time attacking Republicans and the American people instead of defending those who are being overrun by the worst barbarians since Hitler's Minions. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O.
it is the unsavage nation taken over by an imposter who has weakened every defense cell in the United States of America, from the police to the military to the doctor in the hospital. Everyone has been weakened by the by the commander in grief. So I had this man on, the commander of this Assyrian army. It was a, 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 a risky thing to do because it's not a popular topic. It's not a Democrat, Republican, and it's not like anything you know about. And I really am just trying to raise money for them so they can defend their family and fight for their survival. Did you, did you find it interesting, offensive, disturbing? Would you rather I just tell you a, a Teddy story, a meatball story, make it light, talk about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, play Gene Autry? Now, they're not the Yazidis, but when I read that Yazidi girls are being ripped out of the arms of their mothers and you can hear them screaming, and you've got to go to michaelsavage.com, I don't know why this soundbite is not on every website that calls itself conservative. I don't get it. I'm on my own website, michaelsavage.com. I partner with World Net Daily. Great people. Great people. And if you go and look for this, here it is. Okay, the number one story is a Michael Savage motivational. That's from my Friday show, which people loved. I put it on Facebook about, I don't know, a lot of people loved it. The second story is linked from Breitbart. Yazidi used as sex slave for Islamic State speaks to the UN. And I linked it up, and I saw it, I was, uh, my hair was standing up about the rape, the kidnapping, the slavery. It's very graphic content. The sadism being conducted in the name of Islam is appalling to any Muslim. Why Muslims are not raising money to defend the Yazidis tells you an awful lot. The day that CARE gets up and talks about ISIS committing these crimes against these girls is the day I believe that CARE is not a member of the opposition. What they violate, these young girls. And this girl comes to the UN. I'm shocked the UN even had her there after years of denying this happening going on. This little girl, Nadia Murad Basitata, I never heard of her. But you can see her speaking. You heard her in translation on the show. And then she buried her head in her hand after describing the rapes that she endured by the Hitlers of our time. Where are the Jewish people? I don't know. I don't know. Where are they? Where are the Jewish people while a new Holocaust is occurring against Christians and Yazidis and Assyrians? Where are the Jews? You would think that the Jews who are so sensitive to never again would say never again to any people rather than just to Jews. Where are they? Where are all of those organizations that are so ready and willing and able to fight anti-Semitism? Why don't they fight for these people, I ask myself. I haven't heard one word, not one word from those organizations. And I, and I say I'm very sensitive to those people because they were not there for me when I needed them. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Blue Monday, I'm a high blue Monday. Got to work, plant a sleeve on me. Here come Tuesday. We also need to make sure that the really discriminatory messages that Trump is sending around the world don't fall on receptive ears. He is becoming ISIS's best recruiter. They are going to people showing videos of Donald Trump insulting Islam and Muslims in order to recruit more radical jihadists. So she's taken the side of the enemy. Welcome to the Savage Nation. Plain English, she's on the other side. But what are you surprised by that? You're surprised that she would take the other side, right? This is after, this is after San Bernardino. She's still putting out the liberal college line that any criticism of Islam or Muslims is Islamophobia. She may as well work for care. I won't go so far as to say she may as well work for ISIS. I don't mean that. But she could easily be a PR spokeswoman for CAIR. It gets even worse because you're not going to believe this article. I saw it in the LA Times. Can the FBI be held liable for targeting Irvine Muslims for surveillance? Craig Montel told the imam that he wanted to embrace his French and Syrian heritage and convert to Islam. Montel adopted an Islamic name, donned Muslim robes, 
and a skull cap and attended prayers vigilantly. The Islamic Center of Irvine embraced him until he began talking of violent jihad. Congregants reported him to the FBI and Irvine police and then obtained a restraining order against him. Only later did they discover Monte was working for the FBI. A federal appeals court is now considering whether the FBI can be held liable for allegedly indiscriminately targeting Muslims for surveillance. If the court decides the FBI cannot defend itself without revealing state secrets, the court likely would uphold the dismissal of a class action lawsuit brought by Southern California Muslims. The Southern California Muslim community, represented by the disgusting, un-American, Terrorist front group ACLU of Southern California believes the FBI targeted people solely because of their religion and should be held accountable. Now, if I had the power, I long ago would have broken the ACLU over my knee. I would have broken up their funding. I would have found out who's sending them money. I would have seized all their assets. Now you understand why I've been telling you for years about the enemy within. The number one threat to our survival are lawyers inside the ACLU. Now they're trying to attack, literally attack our FBI, our defense cells. How many times have I given you the analogy about an autoimmune disease and how a body dies when its own defense cells are attacked from within? How many times have I tried to explain the immune system to you? Back in 1982, I wrote a best-selling book, six languages, called Maximum Immunity. It was a great book, popular book about the immune system during the AIDS, the height of the AIDS uh, epidemic. And I talked about all the defense cells, sorry, some of which you know about, the white blood cells and all of that. But what happens when your own white blood cells are attacked from cells within your own body? Well, for an example, your, your immune system fails and opportunistic infections form. So now we have a defense organization called the FBI being attacked from within by this rabid group of mad, insane insanely mad people in the ACLU, if they should succeed in taking down the FBI, it would be like destroying our white blood cells. That would be the end of America, as we know it. And then the invaders, all the jihadis who are waiting to strike us, would be able to strike with impunity. And who would pay for that? Who would pay for that? The filthy vermin with law degrees in the ACLU? You think they'd be culpable? No, you need to stop them now. Somebody needs to stand up to the ACLU right now, but don't expect it to come from the uh, Republican Party. What else do I have in the news that I haven't touched yet? New Hampshire heroin crisis leads to presidential candidates discussing drug abuse. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. At town halls and dinners and at house parties, candidates of both parties are hearing tales from anguished voters about drug addiction in their families. But a sharp increase in heroin overdoses over the last 18 months and New Hampshire's first in the nation presidential primary are placing the issue squarely in front of the country as candidates barnstone the state. Why do you think that there's an, uh, uh, an upsurge in heroin uh, her, her, Excuse me. Why is there an upsurge in the use of heroin in these states such as New Hampshire? It's an interesting question. I wonder why. you have any idea on that one? I do. I have some ideas on why. I mean, you say it could happen to anyone. Well, actually, it can't. Actually, it can't happen to anyone. Unfortunately, it does happen to a lot of people, their families, I mean. But why is there a heroin epidemic in these suburban communities all of a sudden? Gripping the Northeast. Over the last decade, families like the Brewsters have become the face of opioid and heroin addiction that is gripping the Northeast. Until recently, the epidemic received little attention. What do you think is behind the opioid uh, epidemic? Pretty clear that it's the drug companies. Pretty clear that the manufacturers of OxyContin are, are, are domestic terrorists, dumping drugs on our society, addicting people, pumping out more pills than are required for medical use. So it's the drug lobby and the drug uh, the drugsters who are behind it. The f big big pharma is behind it. What else? Let's go to the callers on the Savage Nation. Many of you have been holding on the topics, including the commander who was on the show. Chris on WDRC Radio, welcome to the program. What's on your mind? 